1B in case Richard Morris, Christopher Kearns, MCRB, Candle Licenses, LLC, trading is Hampton in downtown Baltimore, 550 West Washington Boulevard. Class B beer, wine, and liquor hotel license application for new class B beer, wine, and liquor hotel license under the provisions of Article 2B, 6-201D2, 401, requiring no less than 100 rooms for the accommodation of the public with capital investment of no less than 500000 in a dining room with facilities for preparing and serving regular meals for at least 125 persons in one seating. Application includes a request for outdoor table service. Everybody testify, please support and raise your right hand. I swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Good afternoon, Ms. Schreckengast. Sure. That should have included a request for live entertainment as well as outdoor table service. We'll see the letter from downtown partnership that they did endorse the request for live entertainment. Okay. Normally, we consider that something that needs to be advertised to the community. Given the address of the premises and the fact that it is squarely within downtown partnerships uh, zone, um, I think that the board can accommodate that hearing today, request today. And there's no, um, I'm sorry, I'll do that to you after we found the, the letter. Uh, Mr. Yeager, uh, downtown Bar Baltimore partnership does not have any objection to us considering live entertainment. Absolutely not. In fact, you were, we it was brought to you as such. As such, yes. Wonderful. We had that discussion. All right. Thank you very. And, and wait, before you go, um, sure. is there any? Uh, thank you. In fact, would you go ahead and swear, Mr. Yeager? Because everybody, uh, you got to swear, right? Do you okay. swear or affirm the testimony? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Yeager. And you had uh, indicated that you have no objection to the live entertainment request. In fact, you previously endorsed it, and uh, your organization had it a letter to us. That is correct. We had a, I had a conversation with counsel before the applicant, and she explained entirely what they plan to do, how they plan to do it, and we were we concur with it. Okay, thank you. And what, uh, if you know, what, what community association is uh, at, the near, at or near 500? I think we're about the only one. The closest residence is the Zenith, and as you probably know, there have been noise problems with Zenith and the Oriole celebrations that go on. This is, has nothing to do right. with that type of celebration. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Yeager. Ms. Shrek and Gosta, I think the board's inclined to um, make this amendment at this time. Yeah. All right. Um, while we're on the, right. Today, while we're on the live entertainment uh -huh. point, and you mentioned the Zenith, I did reach out to the property manager of the Zenith. Mm -hmm. It's because it's not a condominium. They don't have a condominium association. Right. I uh, left messages for Jennifer Livingston, the property manager, on several occasions, explained to her in detail via voicemail what we were planning to do with the hotel and never received a response back. Okay. It's probably not not on their radar. Um, all right. So what kind of live entertainment is striking us? I can tell you right now there are no plans for any specific live entertainment. The reason we are requesting it is because it is a hotel. We do have banquet rooms in the event. Somebody wants to rent out one of the banquet mm -hmm. rooms or facilities for a specific function we'd like to be able to accommodate that. But All right. There will be no daily live entertainment. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and hear from you from your case in chief. I would like to proffer that the hotel does have 126 <coughs> rooms. The capital investment uh, is well exceeds the $500,000. I have a closing statement for you here evidencing that the purchase price was $20.5 million. I don't know if you need multiple copies or just one for the record. One will be fine. There's a floor plan in already included in your package. The seating capacity for dining is 136 plus an outdoor patio area. We obviously <coughs> did not include that, which will be used on a seasonal basis um, for the dining. The, um, I have a copy for you here of the proposed menu. <coughs> for the file. Do you need more than one copy of the menu? No, that would be fine. And the, the entire point of this license is just for the accommodation of the hotel guests. <coughs> I'll let Mr. Moore speak to you in a moment, but his company recently purchased 10 hotels here in Maryland. This is one of them. N only one of the 10 had liquor licenses, and so they're trying to become brand specific. And all the Hampton Inns now are serving alcohol from a pantry area and from restaurants to the extent that they have them. So the whole point of this, again, is just to accommodate the hotel guests and to become brand specific. And I can let Mr. Morse speak to you a little bit about the MCRB company. Sure. Mr. Uh, Morse, thank you. 
How are you, sir? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so we just recently bought 10 hotels, uh, four in Arundel Mills, uh, four in White Marsh, uh, one in Hunt Valley, and this one, the Hampton Inn in downtown Baltimore. Uh, and as an amenity to our guests who, after a long day of work, uh, want to have a beer, want to have a glass of wine, uh, what we call the pantry, which is our little marketplace, um, as well as serving uh, beer, wine, and spirits with, uh, you know, uh, a meal in a restaurant. All right, and you are already a liquor licensee in New Jersey, Connecticut, Florida, New York, and Pennsylvania. Correct. You've obviously been alcohol <laughs> management certified. Correct. Ad nauseum, probably. Correct. You want a you know, set of fingerprints? <laughs> sure, we'll have them. <coughs> uh, all right, and so. How long have you had alcohol management experience or experience in the hospitality industry? Three years. Right. I've been in the hospitality industry for 10 years. Uh, we bought our first hotel with a liquor license three years ago. And where was, was that? It, Within this group? Correct, in New Jersey. Wonderful. We've never had any violations, never any problems, infractions of any type or sort. Wonderful. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Morris. I don't have any further questions for Just him. on the alcohol point, this is a copy of the Alcohol Services Standards Manual for the hotel, just showing the training that the employees will go through. They will card anybody under the age of 40, and every employee is required to uh, sign off that they've read and um, will abide by those rules and regulations. All right. Currently, um, the employees at the hotel are TIPS certified, have completed the TIPS training. Wonderful. Well, we're going to receive exhibits. The first is the closing statement uh, in this matter for between Camden Square LLC and MCRB Camden LLC. The second exhibit is the menu. Third exhibit is Mr. Morse's other liquor license commitments and responsibilities. And then the fourth exhibit is the Alcohol Service Standards Standards Manual of Hampton Inn. Anything else? Unless the board has anything specific. All right, what else do we have? We have a resident licensee. Yes, we have Mr. Kearns here. He's going to be the resident licensee. Wonderful. All Mr. right, um, and you're not Mr. Kearns, you're not going to be a day-to-day -day operations with respect to this establishment? No. Okay, and you live or own property here in the city of Baltimore, I see you have several, you have full-time responsibilities, <laughs> no time to hang out at the Hampton Inn Bar, I'll All right, All right. anything else, Ms. Shrek and Gus? No. All right, we'll go ahead, um, go off the record then. All right, let's uh, go back on the record. Decision phase, February 7th, 2013. Richard Morris and Christopher Kearns, MCRB Camden Licenses, LLC, trading as Hampton End Downtown. It's a Class B beer, wine, and liquor hotel license uh, application for a new such license, requiring not less than 100 rooms for the accommodation of the public, not less than a $500,000 capital investment, dining room with facilities, for at least 125 persons at one seating, and a request for outdoor table service, and also for live entertainment. Board first heard from uh, Mr. Yeager from Downtown Partnership uh, and received a letter from Kate Daly of his organization indicating no objection to the transfer to the live entertainment or the outdoor patio service. We also received a closing statement regarding the sale of the property indicating a seller charge of, uh, indicating a purchase price of in excess of $19.5 million. Further, we interviewed Mr. Morse, uh, the licensee, co-licensee, who will be uh, on the license in this matter, his extensive alcohol management experience with other Hampton Inns, to wit, received a copy of the menu and briefly inquired of Mr. Uh, Kearns, who will be the resident licensee. Based on the testimony that we have here today, the file and uh, the documentary evidence, we do go ahead and determine under Article uh, 2B, Section 10202A, a public need and desire for this license, a de minimis impact on existing licensees, the potential uniqueness of services and products to be offered by your business, and a negligible impact on the general health, safety, and welfare of the community, including crime, traffic, parking, and convenience 
we'll go ahead and approve your request with the live entertainment. Um, obviously, if we receive uh, some correspondence objecting to said live entertainment, well, the board would be inclined to reconsider it and have a hearing just on that issue. But you're, you're approved as of today. So thank you. Good luck. And thank thanks you. for coming to Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you. We're off the record. Yes. Well, as Mr. Moore said, he'd have to answer to his hotel guests first before I can look live entertainment for the community. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a five-minute recess. Thank you all. Have a great Thank afternoon. You. We have the case left. Yeah.